Hello class, how are you? So we are now in uh, topic number three and we will discuss about the preparation or preparing the waiter's station. So the waiter's station is also known as service station. The waiter's station is a table or a drawer set up in a restaurant that contains the necessary items to assist the staff in the performance of their duties. So we have um, two options for the establishment. Uh, they have a, a table or they also have a drawer. But majority of the um, establishment that I observed and visited, they are using the drawer because there is a cabinet. You can store up um, different materials needed in the dining area so the waiter station uh, we put a lot of items necessary for the uh, dining area and everything is already prepared and everything is clean okay so for example we have a lot of crockery utensils in the um, storage area for example in the kitchen or in the stock room so they are uh, full of dust and there's something that has a problem or there's a crack or there is a damage so all the materials or all the things that is put in the drawer or in the waiter station is already been um, checked already been uh, monitored or um, the waiter make sure that everything is clean and you know usable so the waiter will put different um, things or materials needed so that for example there is an emergency the waiters will no longer uh, go to the um, stock room or in the kitchen to get some items and wash so the waiters uh, the waiters have this idea that the necessary items must be put uh, as a preparation in case if there is um, another request from the guest or if there's a problem so we can easily provide the needs of the um, the guest so that is why preparation is really important we are still in the uh, topic about the preparation you know as we have discussed um, the previous lecture we discussed about, about the importance of preparing the equipment with preparing the furniture um, and other things so one of the preparation also is to prepare the waiter station. So we need to put things that is um, necessary for the upcoming service, so that we are well prepared for the yeah for the said um, services. So I will show to you the example or how it looks like the waiter station, especially we have a drawer or like a cabinet. So there are I will give you some. Um, idea or what are the items located in the waiter station so this picture this is a common design of a waiter station so I have listed here nine examples of items necessary in the waiter station so these are we also call this as a requirements so the waiter station must be full of these things because this is necessary and this is the things that usually need by the waiter and also need by the guest. So number one, it is important that we have menu list, this one, okay? So for example, if the guest would like to ask a menu, so you can get the menu from the waiter station. So it must be prepared and put in the waiter station. We also have service trays, okay? This number two. So we have round round um, tray we also have a rectangular tray so this round tray is usually used if we will serve beverages for example we already served the food and get the guests would like to request some drinks for example calamansi juice as a additional order so you are going to um, go to the bar station and um, give the receipt to the bar station and the bartender would uh, prepare a uh, calamansi juice and as you 
um, serve this juice so you will just put the juice uh, yeah the juice in the juice glass must be put in the um, round tray so you will serve the drinks using this round tray if you will serve the food you will use this rectangular tray so there's also a uh, needs for the training on how to carry the tray so we will discuss that or we will just practice that uh, maybe next time next we also have condiments and single use items number three this one we have condiments like salt pepper or we also have sugar so we have the condiments and single use items like we also have a toothpick that is put in the in the pack okay that's like the toothpick that we have seen in our home but for the um, establishment one toothpick okay we have one toothpick and we have a just like a pack okay or a sachet or a paper sachet okay so it is an indicator that it is very clean and only the person will use that kind of items we also have single-use items like straw and other things tissue paper we also have single-use um, tissue paper okay so it is important that we need to prepare these things and put in the waiter station next number four clean crockery so we need to set up this um, crockery for example the cup and saucer so we need to prepare for that and then number five um, water pitcher okay, this one so we need to prepare a water pitcher and also we need to put um, water on the water pitcher so that when the guest would like to ask a water so we can easily uh, provide the water to the guests as we can observe observe here uh, there is a serviette or table napkin wrapped on this um, water pitcher to avoid spillage of the water okay so that is one of the purpose we also have clean glassware we have water goblet or wine glass so we need to prepare we need to clean it and wipe it before we will put in the waiter station so for example there is an additional guest or additional person who sit on the table so we need to set up additional um, tableware so we need to put or we need to be prepared by having these items ready and we also have clean table napkins this number seven that is put in here in the basket so we need to prepare also the table napkins in case the guest would like to request and number eight we also have bill folder when a guest would like to ask the bill so we will you know go to the cashier ask for the uh, receipt and then we will put in the bill folder and we we will give it to the to the guests so it depends on the guests if they will just uh, for example they will pay the you know the bill you'll put the money clip on the uh, bill folder and give it to the cashier and the cashier will give the receipt and also the uh, the change so it depends on the guest if they will say to the waiter keep the change or they'll give a tip there are also establishment that have a you know you have a tip box and uh, they will not give tip to individual so they have um, tip box um, offered or available in the establishment and we also have number nine here we have the drawer we have the cabinet um some of the examples uh, materials or items that put in the drawer or cabinet we have clean cutlery spoon fork, spoon fork and knife we also have centerpiece and we also have fresh linen the uh, tap cloth tablecloth or skirting cloth or table runner so we need to put everything that is necessary this that is uh, very needed for the upcoming service it's important that we need to be well prepared so that during the busy time of serving the guests we can have the smooth flow of our 
service and it will minimize the problems so again important thing here if we are well prepared we can minimize the possible problem so preparation is very very important as a waiter not just a waiter but also as a student or as an individual and now let us continue to have the discussion about the guidelines for preparing the waiter station so there are guidelines so i will give to you the asean master um, mom now me for the explanation on the guidelines for preparing the waiter station so please listen carefully it is very important the waiter station or the service station is a table or cabinet set up in a restaurant to assist the staff in providing food and beverage service a waiter station should contain items necessary in service such as the following menu and wine list all types of cutlery items service plates cups and saucers napkins service trays salt and pepper shakers sugar balls bill folders and order slips pens or electronic order pads toothpicks condiments spare glassware centerpieces and water pitchers when preparing the waiter station you should keep in mind the following guidelines keep the waiter station tidy and orderly at all times observe the cleaning schedule when the shelves drawer should be emptied and cleaned inspect each item when preparing the waiter station return soiled items to the wash up area for cleaning take damaged items out of service follow the safety procedures and organizational policies when discarding damaged items for use such as proper recording of damage and discarded items. Check if the stocks are sufficient and in their proper places. Order new stocks before they run out.